Bust this right quick, y'all. Tyrese, R&B sensation, actor. He does a lot. As y'all can see, I know y'all heard the news. Tyrese went to jail Before today for child that. support. So we're going to talk about this, man. For all of y'all, if you're in favor of Tyrese being locked up for child support or any other good man who takes care of his kids, if you're in favor of them being locked up behind nine child support payments or whatever the case may be, Go ahead and just get off this video because you're probably going to get angry about the things that I'm about to say, all right? But we're going to check it out, man. Let's go. Tyrese Gibson arrested in court for unpaid child support. Man, get my outfit together. I think I'm going to go eat me some red lobster. Never been arrested. Never went to jail. In never my went life. to jail in his life. Never been arrested. Never went to jail a day in his life. That's crazy work, right? That's nasty work. Out of all of these years of his life, he's never been arrested. Never been to jail, and now he has to go to jail for this. We already know he's a good father. Let's not even entertain the fact that we don't know that already. You understand? Child support was made. For those fathers who are deadbeats. I know what a deadbeat is. A deadbeat is a person who does not want to be in his kid's life. Meaning, spend time with his ch killed children. Don't want to pick his kids up. Don't buy them no clothes. Don't put no food in their belly. Those type of things. If they are away from their kids, they don't do absolutely nothing for their kids. That is classified as a deadbeat. Not the father who's doing everything that they're supposed to do for their children. Or at least trying. Yeah? At least trying. But let me see what's going on right let me, let, me, let me click this one right here. Breaking actor Tyrese Gibson taken into custody for failure to, we already know it's about child support. This was streamed four hours ago. I don't know what's being said here, so I'm going to play it right here. This is off the top of the door. Oh, my phone is about to die. Oh, my goodness. Let me make this one bigger. Let me skip this survey, man. Let oh, my phone you. is about to die. Oh, my goodness. I don't know who this brother okay. is. Maybe, maybe, he's, getting, yeah. maybe he's Tyrese's oh, yeah. uncle. We all got that little bald head thing going on, so I don't know. I don't know who he is, but like I said, this is my first time seeing it, so we're going to see what's happening. Around here? Okay. Okay, the charger. Oh, my goodness. You can't do this. Hold on for a second. Before I do this, I want to go to my channel, because I did post uh, the full video of Tyrese, the post he put on his arm. Um, Let's see. The post Tyrese put up on his um Instagram, which was his last post. Let me see. La Truth Tyrese. Getting that from YouTube. I can't stand when they do that. You see, when I say La Truth, they put the truth because La Truth means the truth. So I'll just go ahead and clear that out and just type it in. L A T R U T H. I want to code what he's saying. All right, y'all see this one. This one was posted four hours ago. It's got 2.8K. For y'all that want to see this interview by itself, y'all go check it out. But this video was, SDA, this was his Kamala last Harris Instagram. shielded illegal immigrant criminals from deportation. Instead of deporting one... Absolutely. 
I want to send this message out to all of the fathers. I'm listening, brother. This is not man versus woman. Make sure I say that. Take all that shit off the table. It's sad that as a man, we have to say this is not man versus woman. As if the women around the world don't already know this. Let me say this. First and foremost, in the black community, the black woman is the most loved by the black man. Black men absolutely love black women. Let's, let's get this straight. Because a lot of y'all don't understand this. We love good black women, submissive black women, feminine black women, nurturing black women, loyal black women, and the women who are the greatest mothers around the world who believe in the best interests of the children, even when the relationship doesn't work out. What I love right now is that from all of the interviews that I've been doing, all of the women who are probably always going to see things through the lens of a woman, feminist, women's group, you know, it's like, I don't care if the woman is wrong. I don't care what she doing, what she asking for, what she trying to get in the alimony, trying to crack the prenup, trying to get this for child support. I don't give a fuck how wrong she is. Most women are always going to see things through the lens of women. So I feel like we're in a real place right now where I could not be more proud of the women that have been vocal and outspoken about all of this goofy shit that my ex is doing and still doing. As a matter of fact, both of my ex. To all the beautiful, smart, nurturing, caring, selfless, loyal women around the world who are coming out speaking on this man's behalf or any other brother who's going through the same similar relationships or situations with their exes or their baby mamas or their ex-wives or whatever the case may be. To all of y'all who give us those kind words, I really appreciate it because without y'all and without the men who actually are vocal and stand up in these situations, knowing what's going on, without y'all, I don't know where guys like myself, Tyrese, and other men who have gone through these situations would be. Thank y'all so much. I know y'all are quick to say, claim victim, gaslighting, manipulation, narcissist, they gonna put all kind of shit on you to make sure that whatever they decide to believe about you is what they want to believe because what? I was born a man, I got it. No one's after me. There's no Crips and Bloods after me. There's nobody in corporate America after me. There's nobody in none of these movie studios after me. There's none of these record labels after me. I got baby mama drama. You get in a relationship with an entertainer who happens to be a public figure or somebody who's a real estate tycoon or somebody in the tech space or somebody who has an actual profitable business. Now this is what's crazy. Since I've been so public about all the shit that I've been dealing with, you would not, and I have lost count of how many women who have walked up to me who are the high net worth individuals, the ones with all the money and the success, talking about how their ex-husband is getting alimony and how the husband is getting child support payments and the husband is getting all that he's doing freeloading. The husband got the house. Doesn't really happen that often, but <laughs> when you were born a man, you go into a courtroom and you understand clearly that there is a preset menu that says you were born a man, fuck you. That's what the preset. Listen, to all the men around the world, this is how you fix that. Because they're only going to keep doing it as long as we keep allowing it. Now, that's this thing called assets, right? When a woman comes on social media or outside, goes to a club, goes wherever in the world, what is her assets to us as men? Because men, we're not those people who value money 
the financial things, what kind of car she drive, what home she stay in, what does her bank statements look like? Men don't value those things. We are visual creatures. We already come with what we come with anyway. You understand what I'm saying? If we are already successful in our life, we got our finances straight, cars, homes, everything is already in line. Most of us are not even going to go look for a woman until we are set anyway. We know that we're natural born providers and protectors and all of those things. We know that. So when a woman for us is the assets, it ain't got nothing to do with what they bring to the table financial wise. It's the assets, exactly how I was saying, how the assets. Women know that. They go out here half naked, booty out, titties all out, all of that. Assets, right? So a man is paying attention. What happens most of the time? Fellas, we got to stop doing this. We lead in with our money. We, we talking about what kind of, we pulling up in the flyest cars. No, we need, to, we need to have us a bogus whip. We need to have us a whip that does not get no attention when we ride out. No jewelry, leave that at home. We don't need that. Stop pulling your wads of cash out for the assets. Because she's going to go to the highest bidder. You understand me? So if you are successful, you have to understand what's coming behind that. She's looking like that for a reason. And your ass, your focus was through all already when you saw the assets and how high the asset, how big the asset out. You got to see that. So you got to understand this, fellas. What you expect? What do we expect as visual creatures when we start pulling out our money? We start pulling out our cars. We start pulling out our jewelry. We start talking about how much money we make, how stable we are. We start talking about those things. All they seeing is dollar signs. That's all. They came out in the clothing to show you what they wanted. And they knew what you were going to bring. You understand me? So men, first and foremost, we have to start pulling out in our buckets. We got to buy us a bucket just to pull out in. Regular casual clothes, nothing that's looking rich. You got to get the woman who's willing to be with you when they think you at your lowest. When you're down, you ain't got nothing. Even if you got it, you got to pretend like you ain't got it. Because more than likely, you know you a lick already. When she see you ain't got it, she going to show you her true colors and she going to keep it pushing. But the ones who with you for you and ain't thinking about no assets or none of that, that's the one you need to be rocking out with. That's the one you got to learn how to trust and love on and all of that. Because normally they're going to treat you right too. They're going to treat you right. So that's my advice to the guys out there, man. We set ourselves up. At the end of the day, ain't nobody going to feel sorry for us. We're men. We the only ones that's going to feel sorry for us. And other men, they're going to laugh at you and call you a simp. They don't care. No one cares. It's us. We're men. Except for those women I just told y'all about. Those women who are not getting with the man just for his financial things. They love a man because he's a man. You feel me? They love a man because of what he brings to the table as a man. It ain't about the money. It's about the things that that man can do and that's what that woman desires. You understand me? It ain't about the money, the stability and all of that. It ain't about that with the women that I'm talking about. Well, let me go ahead and get back into this. And you says, now y'all have been laughing, smiling, having fun, doing my interviews, my vibrations, and my energy has been up. And I've been over here silently and quietly in a certain capacity fighting these attacks. Why does Samantha's lawyers just request all of my bank statements? Why are they sending screenshots of my IMDB page, which stands for Internet Movie Database? They're looking up all the movies that I just did and asking for money and money and what's in this account and how much money did you make for Voltron Travel and how many albums have you sold and this and that. Like, leave me the fuck alone, man. Guys, listen. A baby is not just for a week, two weeks, a year, two years, six years, 10 years, 15 years, 18 years, 25 years. I know once it gets past 21, we usually can feel like we done stopped and we ain't got to do certain stuff financially. No, a kid is forever. Who you choose to have your kid with, that is forever. 
However you had the baby, some of these women out here stop taking their birth control and they get they trap you with a kid because they know what you got. Understand this, bro. When you already know you're in a position, when you already know that you're stable, when you already know you are a king, and a lot of these women want you and what this woman could have right now, once you learn that about yourself, man, you got to step into that status of knowing I am a king. I have to protect myself at all costs. Loyalty over money. You got to trust over everything. You got to trust. If you don't trust that woman or really know that woman, stop giving them your seed. Strap up. No matter if they on birth control, put a condom on. Listen, I learned from experience myself. The shit that I'm going through now, man, I'm cool. That condom going to be enough feeling for me. I'm straight. I don't need nothing else. That's, that's cool. Once you give them a baby and you are successful, everything he just said, this is for life. No matter how much money this man is making now, if he becomes more successful, they're going to continue to want more and more and more. From this particular case with Tyrese, I'm hearing that it's $10,000 a month. Now, we look at his celebrity. We see that he makes millions of dollars. We think he makes millions of dollars. We're not factoring the people that's making way more off of his content than he's making off his own content. As a singer, when you sign to a record label, the label stands to make way more money than the artist. But on the outside looking in, all these opinions coming in from all these people around the world who all in somebody else's business like they know what's going on. Oh, he's a millionaire. 10000 ain't nothing for him. Would 10000 be a lot for you? I know you might not have it. I don't know what job you work, but would 10000 be a lot for you for one kid? Yes or no? If you answered yes, 10000 a month for one kid for this man, it's still a lot. You understand me? What kid you know in the world need 10000 a month? What kid? We ain't talk. Bill Gates' kid don't need 10000 a month to eat, for school, clothes. Bill Gates' kid don't need 10000 per month. Why do you think Tyrese's kids need 10000 per month? Why do you think Jay-Z's kid need 10000 per month? Why do you think anybody should have to spend 10000 per month for one child? I don't give a damn about how much they make. What child need $10,000 a month? And also, what father deserves to sit behind bars when he's trying the best that he can to provide for his children? This shit right here gonna make me mad, man. Just keep talking about this, bro. Like, cause we go through the most and nobody cares because we're men. And again, men, we have to do better. We've made mistakes. We know how to move moving forward. To y'all out there, looking at these videos, Pay close attention. Play broke. See if she wants you when you broke and you, when you at the bottom. See if she still wants you. That's the one you might want to spend your time with. And I did a prenuptial agreement for a reason. The prenuptial agreement spells out everything that she get and was supposed to get. Why are we now four years and three law firms into this woman still coming after me? And why have they, the lawyers representing her, knowing that she's with a celebrity, a public figure, a high net worth individual, why have they confirmed on record that they've only got $5,000 from her and they've been representing her for four years? Why is this so? I'll tell you why. Let me tell you. Because me say lawyers, that. not all, but certain lawyers out here will look at a celebrity and a high net worth individual as a pot of gold. And Facts. they will milk the shit out of you. Facts. And she's sitting over there letting them do it. Do you know how many people have went through a divorce and never went to court? You know how many people got issues with their baby mama, baby daddy, and never went to court? And they're just being amicable and respectful. You cheated, you lied, you hurt me, you this, you that, you moved on, you got remarried. You can't do that, Tyrese. You Tyrese. You can't Tyrese, you're Tyrese. I had to learn that about myself. I can't do that. I can't expect to just walk away from the divorce and all of this right here and just be a parent and handle things amicably. I can't do it. Tyrese, you can't do it. We can't do it, bro. They're not going to let that happen. Whatever you make, whatever your increase is on your earnings, they want it. They're going to want it.
No matter what, even when you're down and you ain't got it, they still want that. Why? Because you are Tyrese and you are a man. They don't give a fuck. They don't. It's a sad truth, my brother. Believe me, I'm going through the same shit on a lower scale. They'd rather you be dead, bro. The mothers of your children would rather you be dead if you're not with them. If you're not splitting the money with them, they'd rather you be in jail or dead. Your kids want you alive. To these type of women, it's not about the best interest of the child. It's about how much pain you can get because now you're not with her no more. You got the money, go get the money. Make all that money. They want the money. Not for the kids. Kids get a small portion of it. I know you know this, and I'm only talking to you like my brother, as if you never went through this already, but at the end of the day, this is for all the young brothers around the world who are watching this. Play broke. If they don't want you broke, they don't want you at all. I can promise you. Once that money is not like it what it used to be, they gone. I'm going to get on up off of this video because I want to see what else we got. Y'all can go to my page and watch this full video. Tyrese is preaching though. And there's still going to be a bunch of people going down. They're going to be talking bad about the brother. Y'all see my name smeared all up here. The truth reveals what led to divorce. Like I'm all on the blogs over me wanting to get a di divorce and like go my own separate way, be a free man. Like done, this shit is crazy man. in life, man. Like it's crazy how this world is. It's crazy how it works. And you just want to be a real father to your children. This is another thing too. Now watch this. Out of all the good stuff Tyrese done did, I hear all the music. Out of all the movies, everything. Out of all that. When I go type in Tyrese right now, watch what happens. This is what happens with us in the black culture. This man is a legend. This man is an icon. When I type in Tyrese, I want to hear his music. I want to see what movies he's been in. Lately, I want to hear that. Have I told you I love you? That's what I want to hear. Something pertaining to what I know him from. I don't want to know nothing about no child support. That, I don't care. I don't want to know about that. I care that he's going through that, but that's not what I want to know. I want to get on here and listen to his music. First thing pop up. Tyrese gets an arrested in court, unpaid child support. Black man. This only happened to the black people. Before we sit down. My sister Rachel Morning loved her five children. She met a monster, a criminal, illegal immigrant that raped and murdered her. I lost my sister. There's no reason why these kids should not have a mother. It just breaks my heart. The last thing that we need is more of Kamala Harris. I decided what we had for dinner last week, so why don't you guys decide? Pizza! I just want french fries. What's going on, guys? In a bit of a breaking news story, after singer Tyrese Gibson has been arrested, due to failure to pay child support. Now, I have chronicled uh, this ongoing child support battle between him and his ex-wife over the last couple of years. I recently made a video about how Ty... I know y'all y'all want to know. I know. Y'all want to watch the whole story. I want to watch every blogger who's talking about this. I know. I get it. But can we stream the music? These things help him pay child support. If you stream his music, watch his films, make what we know Tyrese for popular again, wouldn't it help the child support situations? Anytime you see one of us, somebody that looks like myself and you, 
just another human being. When you see us going through these things, don't, don't you think it makes more sense to say, you know what, I don't care nothing about that. I don't want to watch that. YouTube is profiting off of this. Y'all see that commercial, that long commercial I had to sit there and wait through? YouTube. You know how much money the people over YouTube have? I bet they ain't got to pay child support. I bet the women that they with ain't putting them on child support. I bet they working everything out amicably. I guarantee you they being cordial with their kids. I guarantee you that. While we on here acting like fools. We blogging about this shit. But not trying to help. This. I'm on here trying to help the situation. YouTube is making way more money off of us than we making off of us. Stream the man music. Do you know how pissed off I am to know that when I go search in my name, the truth, what pops up? If you know the truth, because I'm not spending too much time on this. Lower this man child support. How much do it actually take to take care of one child? Shouldn't be 10000 a month. I said what I said. If you're mad, it is what it is. I don't care if you make billions of dollars. $10,000 a month is too much for one child. I don't care. That's how I see it. I know it doesn't take that much for a child. Now, I'm going to go up here and I'm going to type in the truth. Y'all know me to be a singer, a rapper, an actor, a content creator, an author, a cancer survivor. I survived cancer. You would think when someone types in the truth, this man is still alive without a stomach should be number one. When you type in a black man who lives without a stomach right now, had to get his whole stomach removed from stomach cancer, that should be what what's, what's popping up when I type in the truth. That's the biggest blessing that, I, that God can give for anybody is life, especially after going through something like that. When you search the truth, that's what should pop up, right? Well, watch this. We're talking about a black man who y'all seen represent real father game. Y'all seen me with my daughter, singing to my little girls, making up songs for them. Y'all seen me be a real father on the internet. Y'all seen it. Y'all know what's going on in real life, so y'all know what you see on the internet is real too. Y'all seen me raise kids that was not my kids. The best stepfather in the world could even pop up. It should. For the past six years, that's what y'all known me for, being a father. That's what y'all known me for, right? Y'all known me for going through stomach cancer and surviving that, right? Let's see what pops up when you type in the truth. L A T R U T H. And let's be clear, I've been passionate about this whole topic for well over a decade on social media about fathers not being having the right, the same rights as mothers for their kids, getting put on child support, not being able to see their kids. I've been talking about this for over a decade. So don't think this is just something I just started talking about because it's not. Look up Real Father Gang and see how, how far it dates back. Now, we, we search for the truth. Let's see what happens. Some of my skits is popping up. Some of the skits that I'm featuring in is popping up. But a bunch of drama is also popping up. As soon as a divorce happens, all of this drama pops up. All the lies that people tell overshadow the truth that gets put out. All of the lies that people tell overshadow the truth. I've been in some movies too. I got music out there too. Can we just, can we focus on the music? Can we focus on the acting? Can we focus on me being an author? Can we focus on me being a real father? When you work your entire life, just like Tyree said, he's never been to jail. Never been arrested. First time was with the child support. I've never been arrested. I've never been to jail. But it's a chance that I could fall on those short times, even with the child support as well. I'm struggling with my finances right now because of all the BS that came out over the social media, over the internet. So I too know what it feels like. I ain't missed a child support payment yet. 